we go, losing self control. Hello and welcome again. This is Motionology talking about the third node in the Expresso within Cinema 4D and that node is Collision. The Collision node is amazing, is very useful and the possibilities with this operator are endless. This operator actually can detect collisions between two objects, which means if you do have two objects collide with each other, we can actually then trigger something else to happen. It's amazing. I mean, just think about it. Well, the working process with this uh, operator is very, very simple. All you have to do is just drag the two objects that you want to collide and then extract the corresponding data type, which is the objects, and then connect them to the input ports of the collision operator, which is object one and object two. And then we need a result node to just to test this out. Uh, so let me grab one. Let me change the data type of this result node from real to pool so we have a false and true values. And then we shall uh, connect the collision output port to the uh, result node. Now, if these two uh, objects within our viewport collide with each other, we should then get a true value instead of this false value. So let's see that. So let me grab this yellow ball and just get it very close to the red ball. Okay, you can see now it's, uh, it's true now. Very easy, very straightforward. Keep in mind two things. Number one, it's not going to work with primitive objects. It's only going to work with polygonal objects. If you want it to work with primitive objects, you need to make them editable first. Number two, uh, sorry, that was number two. Uh, you need to make them editable. Uh, we do have uh, a couple of options that we need to address. Uh, and these options are the collision types. We do have several collision types in this uh, operator, which is the bounding box. Now the bounding box of each object is gonna be the collider decider, if you know what I mean. If the two bounding box of each object intersect with each other, then we do have a collision. The second one with the sphere is going to put a virtual sphere around each object. And if these two virtual spheres collide with each other, then we do have a collision. The object collision type is actually going to look at the actual surface of each object. If they collide, then we do have a collision. The distance is actually very interesting. We can actually define a certain distance between these two objects for them to uh, make a collision. And this uh, distance is going to be defined by the third input port, which is the tolerance, and uh, uh, change this from bounding box to distance, and then the tolerance is going to be available. Let me uh, put a value in here, let's say 100. So 100 centimeters between these two objects, we're going to have a collision. So if we just get this close enough, now it's closer than 100 centimeters to the red ball. So we do have a collision. I hope that makes sense. So the last one is the tolerance. The tolerance is somehow similar to the distance collision type in which we can uh, define a certain uh, distance around each object increasing the virtual size of that object. Use deformed points. This option right here is going to allow you to determine whether uh, the uh, vertices that have been uh, changed in place uh, through a deformer is going to be taken into consideration when colliding or not. Now, if you go back to the bounding box, we do have uh, an option here, include children. If you have a, a children of this yellow ball, they will be taken into consideration. If we change this from bounding box to object, we can actually s define a selection uh, uh, for, for collision. Uh, selection uh, tag one and selection tag two from uh, the object one and the object two, and then we do have a, a collision based on these two selection tags. 
So this is basically it, all of the information I can give you about the collision operator. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next.